I'm Mark Kelly and Mr. Saltwater Tank coming to you on behalf of saltwateraquarium.com. Once you've made that purchase of your new fin friend, it's time to get them into your tank. Almost. If you purchased your fish at your local fish store, here are some tips to get your new fin friend home safely. Bring a bucket or box to transport the bags with fish in them. This will prevent the bags from rolling around your car, especially if you drive like those crazy California drivers. Keep the bucket or box out of direct sunlight. You don't want to fry your fish. The trunk isn't a good place for the fish either. Go straight home with your new purchase. Buying your fish and then making several errands on your way home, not a good idea. If you purchase a fish online, make sure you're home to receive the shipment. You don't want that box sitting outside for very long. Now, if you've purchased a fish locally, once you get it home, or if you purchased online, once your shipment is delivered, you've got a choice on how you want to acclimate your fish. But first, a pro tip. If you purchased your fish online, make the room containing your fish tank as dark as possible before you open the box containing the fish. The fish have been in this box anywhere from 18 to 24 hours in the pitch black. So if you open this box in a bright room, you can light shock the fish. Next, getting the fish from the transport bag into your tank is a straightforward process, but you need to do it carefully. You want to make sure you get this right so you help the fish transition into its new home. Now is a good time to check your tank's salinity and temperature to make sure they fall between 1.020 and 1.026 specific gravity or 27 to 35 PPT and 76 to 80 degrees Fahrenheit. The two choices on how to acclimate your fish are the float method, the drip method. Let's start with the float method. First, float the closed bags in your tank. Make sure you don't overflow your tank while you're at it. Let the closed bags float for 15 minutes. Then cut open the bag and roll the top of the bag over. You may need to remove some water from the bag to keep it from tipping over in your tank. Take a moment to observe your new fin friends in the bag. Don't be surprised if they're not moving much in the bag. Some fish swim around, and some fish hold still in the bag. Then check the salinity of the water in the bag. Some retailers keep their fish at lower salinity called hyposalinity. Make a note of the salinity of the water in the bag and we'll refer to it later. Next, add half a cup of water from your aquarium into the bag with the fish. Then set a timer for five minutes. Once the timer is up, add another half cup of water to the bag. Then set another five minute timer. Once the timer is up, add another half cup of water to the bag. Repeat the half cup of water every five minutes until the water in the bag has doubled. Then discard half the water in the bag and don't lose the fish while you're at it. Pro tip, a bucket makes pouring the water easy and prevents the fish from going down the drain if it escapes the bag. If the fish gets out of the bag, it will be easy to catch in the bucket. Then repeat the one half cup of water every five minutes until the water in the bag has doubled again. If the salinity of the water in the bag is less than 1.020 specific gravity, then repeat the one half cup of water every five minute steps again. You want to slowly raise the salinity of the water in the bag and repeating the one half cup of water every five minute steps helps. After you've doubled the water in the bag, gently remove the fish from the bag and place it in your tank. The other way to acclimate your fish is the drip method. Now the drip method is less labor intensive and keep this pro tip in mind. If you're going to drip acclimate your fish, you need a way to drip the water out of the tank into the bag or bucket containing the fish. Old school way to do that would be to take a piece of airline tubing like this, tie a knot in it and use that to control the drip rate. Here's the thing, I've done it this way. It's not much fun. It's hard to get the drip rate right with this knot in it. So forget that. Here's an easy way to make your own drip acclimator that's super effective. First, grab yourself three feet of one quarter inch Murloc tubing. You can find this at home improvement stores sold as ice maker tubing, or you can grab it from us at saltwateraquarium.com. Second, you only need a one quarter inch push connect ball valve like this one. And yes, we sell that at saltwateraquarium.com as well. Then cut the three foot tube into two sections. One piece about one foot long and the other piece about two feet long. Next, grab two pots and fill each with tap water. Bring one pot to a boil and set the other pot to the side. Then dip about three inches of the short tube into boiling water for about 30 seconds. Then remove the tube from the water and bend it over to form a U. 
Next, dip the end of the tubing with the U into a pot of cold water and leave it there for 30 seconds. Then take each length of tube and insert it into either end of the push connect ball valve. Done! You've now got yourself a super useful and easy to use drip acclimator. All that sound like too much effort? You can purchase a pre-made drip acclimator from us at saltwateraquarium.com or you can get it as a freebie when you spend $100 or more at saltwateraquarium.com. To get the acclimator as a freebie when you spend $100 or more, just go to the What's New section of our website and then scroll down to Free on Orders for $100 plus. Then select a drip acclimator and once you've filled your cart with $100 or more of goods, the drip acclimator is free. Now on to how to drip acclimate your fish. Now the drip method is less labor intensive and keep this pro tip in mind. Pro tip, you don't need to drip acclimate a fish for more than 20 to 30 minutes. Drip acclimating the fish longer than that can stress the fish out more as the water in the container can get cold. First, float the clothes bag in your aquarium for 15 minutes. Make sure you don't overfill your tank. Then cut open the bag and gently pour the water and the fish into the bottom of the bucket. Notice how the bag is already at the bottom of the bucket. This prevents the fish from flopping out of the bag. Make sure that your bucket is small enough that when you empty out all the water in the bag, the fish is fully submerged. Then check the salinity of the water in the bucket. If the salinity of the water in the bucket is between 1.020, 1.026 Pacific Gravity, then drip acclimate the fish for 20 to 30 minutes. If the salinity of the water in the bucket is under 1.020 Pacific Gravity, then drip acclimate the fish for one hour. Note that when you drip acclimate a fish for this long, the water in the bucket can get cold. Remember that small heater that came with a budget build kit that I told you to hold on to? Now's the time when it's gonna become really useful. That small heater is great for keeping the water in the bucket warm while you do an extended drip acclimation. It's preset to 77 degrees, so all you have to do is put it in the bucket and plug it in and you're off to the races. I told you to hold on to it for a reason. Then place the loop end of your drip acclimator in your tank and secure it with a clamp or the hood of the tank. Then make sure the adjustment valve on your push connect ball valve is most of the way open. Then start your drip line by sucking on the end of the tube. Once water is flowing from the tube, adjust the ball valve so that water is dripping out at the rate of about two to three drips a second. Then clamp off the other end of the tubing to the bucket so that nothing falls out and that you don't cause a spill. Take my word on this one. Clamp it off because as soon as you walk away, tubing has a magical way of falling out of the bucket. Drip water into the bucket for 20 to 30 minutes. Then discard as much of the water in the bucket, making sure the fish doesn't escape. Then net the fish and place it in your tank. Once you release the fish into your tank, congratulations, you've now set up your first saltwater tank. Now what? Well first, don't add any more fish to the tank for at least two weeks. You want those new fish to settle into the new home and you want to get used to their routine. Second, don't try to feed day one. Those fish have just made a journey into your tank, they're likely not going to eat day one, and uneaten fish food in a saltwater tank can cause real problems. In the next episode, I'll talk about what and how to feed your fish. I'm Mark Kelly and Mr. Saltwater Tank coming to you on behalf of saltwaterquarium.com. I'll catch you in the next episode.